Hey everyone, it's BFD, otherwise known as Bratsville and Divine, and today I'm going to answer some of your questions, hopefully. Um, thank you for all the questions and suggestions you guys gave me. I didn't expect to get so many, but let's get to it. Okay, so the first question is from Kauai Town in Da World. When did you start liking Bratz? Well, I... Mm. I got my first Bratz in like, it was either 2006 or 2005. I was five, six years old and um, I think I got my first Bratz from my babysitter. She gave it to us as Christmas presents. Um, and I know my first Bratz baby from her was Chloe. Um, it was the one with the hard hair. She had like little piggy tails that you could take in and out and she came with a little pig. Um, either she was my first Bratz. Or it was also another one from a babysitter where it was um, Passion for Fashion Sasha. She's the one who looks pretty much like the replica of the TV show. Um, those are my first two brats. And after that, pretty much my whole family just started getting them for me. Um, and apparently when I was younger, I didn't really put with Barbies that much anyhow. So I guess when they found out I like brats more, they just started getting me brats. So that's when I started liking them. And then the next question is from Curly Head Cutie. Which of the brats do you like most? Sasha, Chloe, Jade, or Yasmin? Or is it someone not commonly mentioned? Rhea, Fiona, or Megan? Um, I mean, I like Yasmin. I have um, Yasmin more than any other brats doll. I like the dolls that look most like me. And Yasmin has my skin color, so... Typically, I get her the most, and my grandma likes her, so um, when I was younger, that's the dolls that my grandma would go for and buy for me. Um, but I like Yasmin. Dana's pretty cute. I like Roxy, but everyone pretty much likes her. Um, so I guess, yeah, out of the main four, it's Yasmin, and out of the main four, Roxy. And then our next question... Uh, Sierra Tavrick, I think that's how you say it. Do you like Nirvana, and why did you start making YouTube videos? Um, I do like Nirvana. I, I've heard a couple of their songs. I like, um, Lithium, I think that's one of their songs. And I like <laughs> that one that, like, has Teenage in the title. I can't remember what it's called, but that one's, uh, pretty good. I think that's their most popular song, but I do like them. I've heard of their similar songs. EA Sparkle Princess asked, What made you inspired to become a YouTuber? Do you like Korean pop? Oh, also Tierra, Sierra Tavrik also asked, Why'd you start making videos? Um, hmm. I don't know. Um, I started watching like Brout's videos on YouTube like 2009 ish. 2010-ish, I guess. Um, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I, you know, I watched a few series. I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. I kind of want to do something like this. But I didn't actually start making YouTube videos, at least on this channel, until 2014. I did make one in 2013, um, that music video that's on my channel. And I actually had a lot more, but I deleted them all because they were just they weren't good at all. Um, <clears throat> but when I first started making videos, I actually um, didn't use like a camera camera. I used a camcorder and I didn't know how to get them off of the little DVD that it came in so I couldn't really like upload them to like YouTube or anything like that. Plus the fact I just didn't have YouTube because my grandma thought I was too young. Um, but, I, I don't know, I just thought it was, like, cool, like, oh, hey, I have a lot of brat stalls, why don't I do this? Like, everyone else, when I was younger, I would watch, you know, Watermelon, 813, or Angela Parks, or Day and Night, Smell and Be Happy, all those people. And I was like, oh, I could do this, too. Um, it did not work out. In the beginning, it was awful. Um, EA Sparkle Princess also asked, do you like Korean pop? For some reason, I knew this was going to be one of... The questions 
I don't really know. I haven't really listened to K-pop, so I can't say that I don't like it, but then I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the Olympics, um, the closing ceremony was on yesterday, and I think K-pop XOXO, I think that's their name, the boy band. The first song they were singing, I was like, oh, this sounds really good. And then, like, the second song, I was just like, uh, I don't really like it. Um, it just depends on the song. Like, I know a lot of people like BTS. But other than BTS, I don't really know any other K-pop people. Um, I don't really like that, like, techno-y sound. Even though they don't really tell sound techno-y. I don't know. I don't really like K-pop, like, that much. But, like, some of the songs are good. Um... Everything Dolls Away asked, How do you make your YouTube screen so full? Mine's little. To be honest, I don't know. Um, in my earlier videos, my screen was small. And I guess, I use Movie Maker, by the way. Um, it, like, updated or something, and then all of a sudden my videos were big when I published them, but when I edit them in Movie Maker, they're small. They're, like, um... Also, if, if you're recording with a camera, it's going to be small anyways. Like a phone camera, it's going to be small. But it just like enlarged on the screen like one day. And I don't even know how, but I like it. So I can't help you on that. That just sort of happened. Um, Serena's Toy Room asked, Have you had any internet friends? And who's your favorite character in the Polar Express? <laughs> um, I guess I can say that I had... I don't know, two, three internet friends. I've had internet friends before. I don't really like talking to people on the internet. Um, like, back, like, in 2011, 2012, um, the original Toontown, I made friends with this girl named Magica and this other dude named Luke. And Magica was, like, really nice, really sweet. But Luke, like, I really enjoyed, like, hanging out with him, like, him and Magica. But he was just such a jerk. Like... <laughs> He was really a jerk. He would brag about everything and, like, you know, eventually he just, like, stopped being my friend and deleted me off that game. And I was like, you know what, whatever. Like, me and Magica can just, like, you know, forget him. Who cares about him? And then I also had a friend on YouTube. And it was actually, like, one of my fans. They're probably not my fan anymore. We had a falling out more than once. I don't hate this person, but, um, it just, it, we just clashed too much, and, yeah, so that's what happened, so I did have, like, an internet, like, an actual internet, internet friend, but it just, it did not work out, but, you know, you know, you gain some, you lose some, and my favorite character in Polo Express, I don't have one, really, because that movie was overplayed when I was younger, like, every day, like, pajama day. Polo Express, or like when it gets to like Christmas time, they'd play it at school and we'd have like have hot chocolate and stuff. So that movie got old really fast. So I don't really have a favorite character. Um, Weird Simmer. Favorite Brat song? Um, my favorite Brat song. They're all so good. Um, I like Let's Go. Like, just let it go now. Like, that song. And then, I like that Rock Angel song. Um, people don't know who I am. I like that one. I don't remember the name. It's like, it was like one of their main songs. I don't remember what it's called. But I like that one. I pretty much like all of them. They're all good. Um, Dolly's World. What's your favorite emo band? Slash, what type of music do you listen to? That's like a weird question. What's your favorite emo band? So I don't really like know like any bands. I guess like Panic at the Disco, but not their new stuff. Like their old stuff. Like 2007, 2006. Like stuff like that. I do, I do like the, that type of music. And what type of music do you listen to? Well, I listen uh, to a lot of pop. I like some R&B. I, I listen to a lot of, like, boy band music, um, Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, 
together O-Town. Um, but pop music, teen pop, R&B occasionally, like Drew Hill, that band, oh my god, that boy band is like, their music is very R&B, I love it. Chloe Gallagher? Chloe Gallagher, I think. What is your favorite brats that you have? What does your room like? What does your room look like? Will you be doing a face reveal? And what grade are you in? Okay, so let me start with the face reveal. Um, I don't know. Uh, a few people have asked me that. Will I do a face reveal? I guess like when I'm like more comfortable with myself. I mean, that would be, would be kind of cool. I know like a lot of you people would like, oh, what does she look like? You know, I've been watching her for years. I don't know. I don't know if I'd ever do that. What grade am I in? I am currently a senior in high school. And my favorite brats. And what does my room look like? Okay, so these are my favorite brats. Um, I think this one is Nona out of the twin set. I don't remember the other twin's name, but I think this one's Nona. I just got her too, like uh, two months ago. Um, she's really pretty, so I, I like her a lot. She has more of my skin color, which is, I'm more into those dolls. Um, this is Bratz Diamond's Jade. I like her the most because she has the black hair like me, she has skin color like me. Um, and of course, um, joint arms, but I just, you know, changed the body um, on her. I really love her a lot. And then Date Night Dylan. He is the first boy that I ever bought with my own money. I remember walking out the store with him, like, staring at him all the way home. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, can't wait to get him open. He's my, he's been my favorite for years. He's always going to be my favorite. Um, yeah, so these are my favorite three. Um, Jade being the most famous, Dylan, and then Nona. And then here's my room. You're lucky, because I just cleaned it. Uh, I got some Backstreet Boy posters and AJ McLean. Um, here's my dresser with stuffed animals on it. My bed, my Yorkie. Uh, over here, CM Punk, and then I have a little wall thing. I have a lot of my hats here. Um, I have a little jewelry case perfume. Um, these are like my NSYNC posters here, right there. Um, here's my other dresser. It has in sync on it. I completed the set finally. Um, Bill and Ted joined with them. I have Backstreet Boys trading cards. Um, these are the stickers. Um, and this is just an extra like lyric card that I wanted to have out in case I wanted to learn the lyrics. Um, here's like really old cell phones. It's like I don't want them away because I like them. So I just like leave them out. And, um, here's the phone booth that goes with Bill and Ted. There's where my Backstreet Boy cards came out of. And here's the photo album that I got for it. So here's the lyric cards. All of them. I, I got a whole box of, uh, these were 72 cards in here. Um, because I just wanted to put them in a photo album. Uh, I have a CD player. Uh, there's like, two iPods. So that's that. And then over here, I have a radio, another little container. Um, these are all my CDs. They're mostly Backstreet Boys. I have two NSYNC and then one O-Town. And I actually ordered another Backstreet Boy CD. It should be coming today sometime. So excited. Um, here's some more NSYNC posters. Um, another little hangy thing. A Backstreet Boys hat and more hats. And this is my closet. Um, and this is actually where all my doll stuff is. I film in here, you know, and do all that stuff. There's a big window. So, yeah, that's my room.